In programming languages like Java, C Sharp or even Kotlin, whenever we need to call the method or want to access the members of a class, then we make the object of the class and with the help of that object, we access the members of the class, right? A typical Kotlin example of accessing a member using an instance is like this. So here is an example. Uh, so here we have a class named to be called using instance, which has a function called me and it just prints this message. And within the main, we create an instance object for this class, this line of code. And then we use that object to call this method call me. And when we execute this, it prints this message. So in this case, we have created an instance of this class and accessed the method within that. In programming languages like Java and C Sharp, we use static keywords to declare the members of the class and use them without making an object. That is just by calling them with the help of class name. A typical example in Java using static member is like this. So here is an example in Java. Here we have a static inner class which consists of a method called call me. So we can call this method directly by using the static class dot call me. So in this case, we are not creating an instance. Instead for static methods, we could directly call by the method name, class name dot method name. We don't need an instance or an object of that class in order to access the members of the class. So can we do the same in Kotlin? So the answer is yes. How? With companion objects. In Kotlin, if you want to write a function or any member of the class that can be called without having the instance of the class, then you can write the same as a member of a companion object inside the class. So by declaring the companion object, you can access the members of the class by class name only. That means without explicitly creating the instance of the class. So here is an example. Here we have a class named companion object for example. And within that, there is a companion object declared within this curly bracket. So the companion object is declared with the keyword companion object. And within this companion object, there is a method called call me which prints this message. So in order to call this call me method, we could directly use the class name dot call me. So in this case, I have called call me from the main activity. So in the main activity, we could call this method by using the companion object call example class name dot call me. So let's go ahead and run this. Okay, here you go. So it ran, but we don't have anything displayed in the screen. Instead, I have added one log message. So we could look for this log message. So here you go, you can see this log message here.